Okay, so before we get started today, I can tell the double moon crossing on SDO is causing headaches for many of you. Even though it's been like this every year and the dates are given years in advance for the eclipses, let's look at the SDO orbit around the Earth with the sun back there obscured behind it. Now yesterday we did have the new moon position, so the moon is between the Earth and sun as well. And as the satellite goes in front of the Earth, moon would cross one way, but as the satellite comes back around, it goes the other way. So even with the satellite perfectly trained on the sun the whole time, the moon is snapped on its way in front and then in back of the Earth, separated by a few hours with the satellite moving in the opposite direction. Now for the morning news. Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, earthquakes, weather, a few bits of science news to cover as well when we're watching plasma filaments dance on the incoming limb here, so let's go to spaceweathernews.com. Last 24 hours on our star, we got the trailing coronal hole on the south on the left. Watch ahead of it. Brightness, snapping, x-ray production. It's another sunspot group born facing Earth, and we'll be monitoring that one closely as the coronal hole streams of solar wind are arriving at Earth and driving geomagnetic storms. Hopefully you got yesterday's app alert early warning of the impact and exactly seven hours later the storm began. Level 1 disruption only and peaking out overnight with only modest ground perturbations and only the slightest of returns on the U.S. geoelectric map. Looking at the lithosphere, we've got Krakatoa on alert with near constant tremors there in the mouth between Indonesian islands. The big earthquakes continued yesterday as well with a 6.3 in New Caledonia. Now, have any of you wondered what sort of earthquake uptick we're in right now? Well, it's a big one. It truly began back on August 19th with the 8.2 at the Fijian transition zone. But note, before that in this time-ordered list, it was nearly six months without such an event when one is expected every 20 days or so. At magnitude 6 range, we've had more in the last 25 days than in the last three months. That nearly six-month drought this year set a record at magnitude 7 range, beating last year's hiatus by just one day. And since this uptick began, despite only expecting a seven-pointer every 20 days, we've taken five of them in a period of 18 days. Of course, what else happened around this exact same time last year? This is Hurricane Florence. Memories of Irma and Maria from last year firmly in our minds. The track of the storm is now well understood, and the geomagnetic push is exactly this. Storm going to stutter step and then juke move at the coast, sliding inland, and then going to track northward. Hawaii. One presumes nobody on the islands doesn't know what's about to hit them there tomorrow. Best of luck and eyes open. And same goes to the West Pacific, where no matter where this one hits, it is going to be a devastating event. Two quick notes before you go. First, we have Sweary making yet another bid to say the solar system was once chaotic with planets going bananas. However, they also once again say it was super early in the solar system and not the same kind of chaos our ancestors described in the sky. To be clear, they say this orbiting asteroid binary must have survived for all that time, because if it had formed later, they say, it wouldn't have held together. That's right. It makes more sense to them for this to survive billions of years than something much shorter. And we're on to the tokamak, which is only slightly less practical than what you just heard about. But it turns out that might not be true for long as the magnetic field and plasma layers are starting to add up on paper and in the lab. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.